everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to customize the LXQT desktop. So if you're a bit confused, uh, understand that LXQT and LXDE are kind of the same, but not really. See, LXQT is built with the KDE technologies, whereas LXDE is built with more of the GNOME technologies, the old stuff. Anyways, we're gonna start with talking about the panel. So if you go to the panel, you can right click on it, you can click add panel if you'd like to create a new panel. And we can tell the position of the panel at any time. And uh, I'm gonna put it at the top of the desktop. So my panel is already there. I can go to widgets and I can click the plus sign. I can add a ton of different things that I would like to have on my panel. And uh, you know, just kind of put whatever the heck I want there. And uh, that's my second panel. If I want to delete the panel, I right click remove panel. If I want to customize anything on the panel over here, all I got to do is hover on any of the widgets, click remove, once again, remove to remove stuff. And uh, I can also move things by right clicking and then click move and it will let me move things. And uh, there are also other panel settings that you can go to like the background color that you can change and uh, stuff like that. So there's that. Now let's talk about customizing the overall appearance of the LXQT desktop. So to start off, press Alt F2 on your keyboard then type in LXQT and then just hover over the appearance section. Now this will let you change the overall LXQT theme and there are only a couple of them. There's, because I'm using this on Ubuntu, there's the Lubuntu theme that I can use which will make my setup look more like the Lubuntu there's also the light theme. There's the KDE plasma theme. If I want my setup to look more like plasma, there's the frost theme that we were just using. There's the dark theme and the ambiance theme, which is supposed to look like Ubuntu. Under that, we can go to fonts and we can change the default fonts, which let's change it to the Daniel font. <laughs> Why not? There's a bunch of different fonts you can choose from and uh, you can go through and set it up. Uh, it's all very, very cool with font settings. You can also change the, the rendering settings, but most people don't mess with that. Uh, you can also go to widget style if you want to use a Fusion setup. Now, what Fusion means is it's using a mixture of KDE and XFCE, or excuse me, it's using a mixture of KDE as well as uh, GNOME stuff. If you just want to use GNOME, you can select the GTK one. If you want it to look like Windows, well, you can do it that way but Fusion is, in my opinion, the way it should be used. And lastly, let's talk about icons. If you select icons, you can go through here and tell the XFCE, and excuse me, tell the LXQT desktop. I get these confused sometimes for some reason, but they're all just a bunch of uh, letters to me sometimes. But to customize the icons on this desktop here, the LXQT desktop, the one that I'm talking about right now, just go through this menu here and you can select all of the individual icon themes that are on the system. And uh, once you select it, it'll instantly change. So just a quick overview of how to set up the LXQT desktop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, I try to do my best to make these things a little bit more understandable because I know that desktops on Linux can be confusing for new users. So hopefully this clears it up a little bit and you can learn how to customize your LXQT desktop. Um, if you're looking for a good LXQT desktop and you don't wanna mess with it, try out Lubuntu. They're starting to use that kind of technology. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going, but please check the article in the description as always, and I will see you in the next video.